to Kendra and today I'm going to show you how to make this card so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is bring in a one and a half by one and a half inch piece of watercolor paper and I've already stamped my little robot on there and these from the Lots of Bots stamp set. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pull those stamps that we're using out. But I stamped them on this watercolor paper using Stays on Ink. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and color them in to give them some life. Now, for this little robot, I'm going to take my basic gray marker and I'm going to use the brush tip. And I'm going to go ahead and color in his wheel nice and dark. Then just put a little dab of the basic gray in what would be his little hubcap. Gonna color in his arms dark. That little center plate on his face. And then his little topper along with his little collar. Next, I'm going to bring in my Baja Breeze, and I'm just going to color in the rest of him. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because after we're done highlighting him with the Baja Breeze, we're going to come in with our Aqua Painter. And just on the Baja Breeze, we're going to use our Aqua Painter to smooth out what we colored. Making sure that we leave the parts that we did in basic gray alone, aside from his little hubcap. That way it's lighter than the rest of his tire. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to pull in just a little bit of that blue into this little window that would be where his heart is. Sorry, I had a little too much water. and then we're going to set him aside so he can dry and we'll come back to him. Next thing we're going to do is bring in our card base and our card base is basic gray and it measures three and a half by four and a quarter inch and I've already taken the 0100 stamp from the Lots of Bots stamp set and I stamped it across the front in stays on ink. What we're going to do is we're going to take the fine point tip of our basic gray marker and we're just going to make little dots along the edge of our card. They aren't as easy to see on here since I've already stamped my uh, little 0100 image but they are there and you can see them in person we're going to go ahead and also add those dots to a piece of Baja Breeze that measures three and a half by one and a half inches. We're just going to do it around the edge of it as well. Okay. 
we're also going to do it to a two and three eighths by two and a half inch piece of so saffron. Okay, and now we're going to set those aside and bring back in our little piece that we watercolored. I'm going to highlight our little robot's eyes with our basic gray and also color in his frame. Since I used a little too much water, I'm going to recolor in his wheel to make sure it's nice and dark, along with his arms. And I'm going to give just a little line underneath his tire so that we can come back in with our aqua painter. Give him a little ground to stand on. Now what we're going to do is bring in our so saffron fine tip point and color in the flowers he's holding in his hand. I'm using our Blushing Bride. We're going to color in the heart. Okay. And set him aside again. I'm going to bring in a large cog from the Extra Large Cogs Double Punch. What we're going to do is we're going to take the brush side of our marker and we're just going to glide it along all the edges of our gear. It's a cog punch but I call them gears. And because we're doing this, because it would be too hard to get in here with a sponge, to give these edges de definition, just by gliding your brush along, it's going to make them appear like it's got more to a side to it than it really does. And it will also allow for it to stand out against our background that is also basic gray. After you finish the outside, just slide your marker on the inside of the little gear cog, whatever. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to begin assembling our card. Right here I have those pieces that we dotted, our little guy that we painted, and our cog. We're going to attach snail to the back of our Baja Breeze piece. And we're going to adhere it about an inch up from the bottom of our card, having the fold on our left. I'm going to bring in our stays on ink and our little robot again because whenever you get the stamp set, he actually comes with errors. Sorry, I'm sorry on him. And I've cut it apart and mounted it on the other side of my stamp. And we're just going to stamp it towards the left of this Baja Breeze piece. Attach snail to the back of our So Saffron piece. And remember, our So Saffron piece is just slightly taller than it is wide. We want it to go up the tall way. Just like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little gear that we did and add some glue dots. And the glue dots will just fit on your gear. If you put it at one of the little, if you put it right behind one of the little teeth. If you put about three on the back, it'll stay nice and tight on your card base. We're going to attach it 
up in the top right corner of our little so saffron piece. Then using two dimensionals on the back of our little watercolor guy. We're going to attach him in the bottom left corner of our so saffron piece. Just like that. And then for the inside of our card, I have a piece of Whisper White. And this piece measures three and a quarter by four. We're just going to attach a little bit of snail on the back of it. And then center it on the inside of our card. And there you go, quick, easy, sorry card. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks.